2000 and today I got a Valentine's project to do. They're with Dollar Tree products. So stay tuned and we'll be right okay, back. Okay guys, so what I got here, I got one of these little trays or little things here from Dollar Tree. And I got two of these Valentine little trucks. They're cute, 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 cute. And I'm going to show you two different ways on what you can do with this. Uh, so I, I got some candy, Valentine candy, to put in there. Or I got some flowers that we can do. And I have a brush. I'm going to brush this on. I could only get one pink one. It was the last one they had at Dollar Tree. So I hopefully got enough to do this because we're going to paint the inside and the outside. I'm not going to paint the bottom unless I, I don't need to. So I'll just do the sides and the inside. Hopefully I'll have enough. And we also, I got this for the flowers. I already had this and we'll use this to put inside. So that's what we are going to do today. So the first thing we got to do, we're going to paint it. So I found me some cardboard from Shea Bears, all his gifts he's getting. And uh, so I was like, oh, this will work for my project. So I'm going to bring you down a little bit so you can see a little bit more. And we'll get going. So, I'm going to, what I'm going to do, we're going to take the label off the bottom if I can't get it off. I mean, you don't have to, but I mean, I just don't like these labels. I take them off. <coughs> and I love it. I like these little things, and I think they're cute. You can do all kinds of stuff with them. So, um, I got my pink stuff here, and... If you've got pink paint somewhere, you know, you can use it. You can use whatever you want. Color it what, the way you want it. If you want it red, you can do that. If I can open this up, that might help. Okay, there we go. And I'll show you the bottle a little bit better. In my store, this was the last one. And there you go. So That's a pretty pink. I thought it was pretty. So, I'm going to kind of just squeeze it in there, and then I'm going to use the brush, and um, I'm just going to, yeah, see, I'm going to squeeze it in there a little bit, and then I'm going to take the brush and just smooth it out. So this is going to be really light. I don't know if I'll have enough. We'll check it out and see, see what happens here. And you really don't have to do the bottom if you didn't want to, if you were going to just put the flowers in. But if you're going to put candy in it, yeah, you want it painted all the way through, you know. You could use this and use these little things for, for knickknacks, you know, to you have jewelry or something or just anything. You could put in these little containers. And you can paint them and do whatever you want. I was looking at the wind. It's very windy here today. And the trees are just a blowing out there. So. I'm going to try to get the corners a little bit the best I could. And you can see. I use this little brush instead of a, a uh, regular brush. I think they work a little bit nicer. You probably hear the wind. You might be able to hear the wind. I don't know. But yesterday was such a beautiful day. I'm so glad we went to Orlando when we did yesterday because today was not so nice. So. Hmm. I got a little bit more here to do on this 
side. See this. Hmm. And you don't have to put a big mount in the inside if you don't want to. I mean, it is, you know, if you're going to use it as a candy dish, then you're going to have it filled up with candy. You know? But it just kind of blends it all in. And makes it look nice. Alrighty, so now I got that done. Hopefully I have enough of this. I don't know. I might not. And really, you know, I don't have to do the sides, these sides, because what we're going to do, we're going to glue these right here. So we're going to do that, sorry. So, and you, you really don't have to. So that would be good not to. And that will save my paint. So what I'm going to do is um, just do the sides here. That's what I'm going to do. And I'll have, I should have plenty for that. I'm just going to squeeze that on there, and we'll do it this way. That's a pretty pink, isn't it? That is really pretty. I like that pink. a little bit on this brush so I can get in here a little bit because you can see the wood part you know so you want to kind of paint that in there best you can I'll stick that thing in there and just go around in a circle and it should pick it up and then just wipe it off excess and you can do it that way Make sure there's nothing dripping on the inside here around that. I got the inside there. And then you can just do that. I'm going to do these edges here all the way around, I think. After I get this side down, I'm going to do this side. Ooh, ochi ochi. So now I'm going to have to. I do here.
think it's part of the wood. Yeah. So, let's see here. I might make it a little bit darker because it's not as dark as the other side. It looks like as it dries, it's getting a little bit darker too, so that'd be cool. make it a little bit darker so the other side's about even. You want to try to make it as even as possible, you know, for that. Okay. Now I want to do the inside of that arm again, just like I did over here. So I'm going to put a little bit more on here. And I'm going to just slide it on there. around it a little bit. And then I'm I'm brushing it down so it looks decent as you can. Okay, so yeah, see. I might have to put a little bit more on here. It depends what you want to do. I mean it's just for candy or whatever you want to use it for. Something simple and easy to do, and, and it can be handy and decorative. A little bit more on here. I'm just doing the top part here. And I probably put too much on my brush here. That's all right. I'll use it some more. the top like that around the corners here because you'll see it. You want to do any part that you're going to see. And, uh, make it as decent as you can. That's pretty good. I think it looks pretty good. I think I'm going to put another coat on these two sides. So I'm going to do that real quick. You don't have to watch. you already seen. And uh, I'll show you um, when it dries. I'll be back. Okay guys, so it's been, what, about an hour and a half and it's dry. You just want to make sure it's dry before you do anything because you're going to put stuff in there. It's not even tacky. So that's a good thing. So now I'm going to put my little cars on. Now I was going to take these labels off that you can see right here, but the things are peeling. They're not really coming off like they should. So I'm just going to leave them on. Hopefully you won't be able to see them. I'm going to cover the box kind of. Uh, I'll cover the cars with them. So then that way you don't see them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if that works. Well, that one will. Yeah, let me see. I'm trying to see if I put it on flush here. This one needs to be up, though, because you can see that sticker, because they, they put that dang sticker in the wrong place, really. So let me do this one first, and then we'll try to, because if you didn't have the stickers and you could peel them off, it would work a lot better. But, um, yeah. So, that'll work. So I just don't want to show the sticker, you know on the inside because you'll be able to see it from the other side I believe so I don't want to do that so, I'm gonna get it where I want it yeah so it's kind of I don't want it too far up either so you want it to be flush as much as you can that'll work right there I think yeah make it kind of flush to the sides here um, you know, and that, so. I was going to put it flush down to here, but because of that sticker, I can't really do that. So I'm going to have to put them up a little higher. So that's what we're going to do. So I got my glue gun. It's heating up here. I don't know 
know if it's ready yet. It might not be quite ready. Let me make sure it's on. Uh, what's your first about? No, there it is. Okay, it's on low, so that way I won't burn myself. So when it heats up, it's not quite there yet. I'll come back and we'll we'll glue this down. Okay, guys. So now we're gonna just glue this together here. So I'm gonna put lots of glue on here. whatever glue you want. I use my hot glue gun because I don't think it's, you know, I don't need that other glue. I have the other one too I could use if this one doesn't work out too good. Okay, it's kind of dripping. Oh. And we're just going to put them together. Remember, you want to keep it. Can't get that label off. Make sure you hide the label. It's no fun to have that label being shown, that's for sure. So, let me bring it down a little bit. I still can't see the label, so that's good. Right there, probably be good. Push down on it, hold it for a few minutes, and make sure it gets a good seal. And that will do that side. There. It's going to be up. It's not going to be on the ground. So you're not going to be able to put anything real heavy in it. Um, but you don't want to. Heavy to put on here for a little bit and just let this side get done and then I'll do the other side. Sure. So I'll come back after this is glued down. Okay guys, so now we're gonna do the other side. There you go. It's on there. You want to make it as straight as possible. If I didn't have those labels there, I would have been able to have the bucket all the way down near the wheels, and it probably would have worked out a little bit better, but those labels are just horrible, and, and you don't want them to be seen, because it's not going to look really nice, I don't think, so. Anyway, so we got one side done. You want to make it as straight as possible as you can, and I'm going to do the other side. And it doesn't matter how much glue you put on underneath, they're not going to see it. You know, you're not going to show it. So, we're going to do it again. But try to make a nice line with your hot glue gun because if you don't, it's all going to clump up. I found that out on the other side, so that's what you don't want to do. So, I'm going to try to put it in line form and see how well that works. And I'm going to do on this too. And then you can fill it in too. That's what I was doing. I filled it in on the other side. I had to push down on it for a few minutes and just let it um, do its thing. You know. So, let's see. So the side, I'm going to kind of line it up to the other side, because you want it flush to the thing, and you want to try to make it as straight as possible, because you want it to sit, and it looks like it might work, hopefully, and I, I don't see straight, but I, I know that. I have a problem with that. I don't know why, but I do. So it's very hard for me to get straight. 
but I tried to use this and uh, flush it. So, as much as you can. And I'm going to fill this in a little bit because there's a gap, and I'm going to fill it in the sides a little bit more. Just so that it will stay. I think the line thing worked a little bit better than just putting it down the middle. So I'm going to put some in here and go across. Okay. And I put some a little bit more over the side here. And then you can let it dry, and then whatever you you can scrape some of it off if you want to. If you find it, it's too much. So, but really, no one's gonna see that part. And there you go. It's cute. It's a little bit crooked, I think, but that's okay. I really have a hard time with seeing straight. <laughs> really bad. It's cute. It's just for Valentine's Day. I'll give you something. I'm going to let that dry for a few more minutes and then I'll come back. Okay guys, so I do a little bit of a touch up in this corner here where this truck is. But like I said, if you didn't have the trouble with the, the labels like I do, you could probably take it off and then make it flush to, to the bottom of the truck right here. You see that? So you could have made it flush and here. But I got it together and it's cute. And I'm going to show you what you can do with this. You can do this. We're going to cut some of this stuff up. And you can plop it in here any way you want. And I had some flowers from my wreath that I did last year that I will show you at the end of this video so if you want to do a wreath you can and I just had some extra flowers so I'm going to put some of these valentine flowers in here and I'm going to cut some of these up I think I used his um, wire cutters the last time so let me go get those I'll be right back sorry Bruno sees people outside and starts barking drives me crazy so, anyways, you just put your flowers in there any way you want, and whatever color you want. Of course, it's Valentine's Day, so I kind of did a little Valentine's arrangement there. Yeah. And you could put this in here, and you can put some of these inside here if you want. And I'll put some of these in here. You can load it up with any kind of candy you want. All in there, like so. Or if you want and you don't want the flowers, see, you can do that. That's cute, huh? You can do that, and I'm gonna take a picture of that so then I can show you a little bit better. That's cute, isn't it? There we go. Here's my candle. Yeah, that's cute, huh? And that gives you a little view. Yeah. And that was cute right there. Let me fix this flower here. Okay, guys, so I hope you enjoyed the video. That was not that hard to do, and, you know, it's a little arrangement, and I you can put any kind of candy you want in there. I got these because they're they're nice and hard candy to, to suck on and and we can um, they don't have a lot of sugar in them but they have sugar in them so anyways if you you can do what you want and make a little arrangement you can make this just one candy dish and just have a variety of candies in it and not have the flowers in there or you can just make a whole flower bouquet in there it's up to you what you want to do with it but I did a little bit of both to show you both ways at the same time. And I think it looks really cute this way too. So you can put it on the middle of your kitchen table or you can 
put it in the middle of your coffee table and people will grab a candy here and there. So that's it for now. Monkey says she's out. I hope you enjoyed the video and there'll be much more coming up. I'm trying to, I've been working a lot so I don't get home until late and so it's hard for me to do any videos at the moment but I'll try to do more on the weekend so you guys have some videos up and uh, yeah so I have another crafting video I'm going to try to do today so hopefully I'll get them both up today and we'll, we'll get them going. So y'all have a great week and uh, yeah. Have a good, 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 good week. And um, Monkey says she's out for now. Bye, y'all.